Hi, I'm Kashu, Japanese kaigafa. I teach Japanese kaigafi in London for adults and children. During the COVID-19 outbreak, we've been practicing shodo online. The students have performed large-scale kaigafi at the various events, including Japan Matsuri. Japanese calligraphy can be a great way to straighten your mind and reconnect with yourself. So I'd like to use this video to try Japanese calligraphy at home. There are four tools you need to start Japanese or any East Asian calligraphy. The ink, inkstone, brush, and the papers. These are referred to as a for jewel of study, for treasure of study, for friends of study. Rather than their stationary items, they will treasure as a work of art. So you need quite a few special tools to start Japanese calligraphy, shodo, but today I'm going to show you how to take the benefit of shodo by using normal items that can be found around your house. The aim of today is to enjoy, relax, and feel good within yourself by practicing shodo. You can use a normal pointed drawing brush and paint and add some water to make it as runny as ink. And today I'll show you how to draw the kanji dream. There are three things you need to prepare before starting kaigofi. Your body, your breath and your mind. For the body, keep your back straight and your elbows away from the table when you're writing. Now breathe slowly and rhythmically until your mind becomes calm. Keep breathing like this while you're writing. Hold the brush softly as if you have a small egg in your hand. Hold the brush straight up and straighten your wrist. Dip the brush into the ink completely. Then adjust on the side of the bowl to make the ink is evenly spread on the brush hair. Make sure it doesn't drip or have a lot of ink only on the tip of the brush as this will make the calligraphy too watery. Finally, make the tip of the brush pointed nicely. Now we are ready, I'm going to write the character dream. Place the brush tip onto the paper at a 45 degree angle. Slide right. Keep the same pressure. Lift the brush once but without leaving the paper completely. Slide upwards just a little bit by using only the tip of the brush and stop at a 45 degree angle again. The horizontal stroke should rise up a little. The second stroke. Place the brush tip at a 45 degree angle again, slide down. By using the tip of the brush, slide to the left a little and stop at the same 45 degree angle. The third stroke. Start from a little higher position than the last stroke. Place the brush tip at a 45 degree angle again, slide down. Keep the same pressure and then gradually lift the brush up and taper off. Don't sweep away too quickly, taper off gradually into the air. Lead the line in the air to the next stroke. Now I'm writing a box. Place the brush at 45 degree angle, slide down. Keep the same pressure, lift the brush a little, stop at 45 degrees. Draw this a little inwards. Touch the first stroke with the brush tip a little, then slide right. By using the tip of the brush, slide upwards and stop at 45 degrees. Without leaving the paper, slide down and stop. Draw this stroke a little inwards as well. When you draw a box, the horizontal stroke should be thinner and rise up a little then the vertical stroke by pressing down less. Also make the right vertical stroke slightly thicker than the left vertical stroke will make the kanji look more beautiful. 
start from a little inside of the horizontal stroke at 45 degrees again and then slide down. Make the strokes inside the box thinner by pressing down less. Repeat again. Draw them in the same rhythm. Please remember breathing slowly as well. Then close the box. Again, the horizontal stroke should rise up a little and be thinner. Now we are drawing a crown radical at 45 degrees again and then slide down. Press the brush down a little more and make it thicker and a little outwards this time. Stop at 45 degrees angle. Start from a little inside of the first row at 45 degrees again and then slide. For the crown radical, the horizontal stroke should rise up a little, but also should be drawn a little quickly. Without leaving the paper, slide upwards by using the tip of the brush and stop at 45 degrees with enough pressure. And then slide, gradually lift the brush up and tape off gradually into the air. Leave the line in the air to the next stroke. Place the brush at 45 degrees, slide, keep the same pressure until here, and gradually lift the brush up, tape off into the air, lead to the next stroke. This horizontal stroke also should rise up a little and be thinner. Stop at 45 degrees, press the brush down a little more, and slide. Keep the same pressure until here. And then gradually lift the brush up and step off the air. And final stroke, a dot. So, this is the kanji dream. I'm going to do this again with a natural speed this time. A tip for creating beautiful Japanese calligraphy is to keep a 45 degree angle at the start and end of the stroke and to keep the same angle on the horizontal strokes. Now this time, write it while you're thinking of your own dream which you like to accomplish. Now one of my student Karen will have a go. She's been studying Japanese calligraphy for six years, since she was eight years of age. Karen-chan, onegaishimasu. Yes.
I'm finished. Very well. First of all, make this straight. Do not bend it. Yes. Also, make this space is even the hair. And hair. You did very well on this part. Make this part thin. Press it down. And chamber hole. Very good. And here. Need more pressure here. And here. Lift the brush once. Stop. Okay, let's have another go. Yes. I'm finished. Thank you very much. Kanchan, what do you enjoy the most about Shadow? Um, I find it relaxing and it's fun. And I also like the techniques that used. How do you feel when you practice Shadow? When I practice Shadow, um, I feel relaxed and I feel like I'm in my own little zone. If something bad has happened before, um, I can usually Forget about it and continue writing. Arigato, Karen chan. Arigato gozaimashita. I hope you enjoyed practicing Shodo with us today. Keep your dreams alive. See you around.